Hey everyone, it's DKGM, and welcome back to Pokemon Y2. Now, you may be wondering why are you seeing this on a Thursday? Uh, wait till Saturday, I'm gonna explain it all. But, in the last episode, we took on Elite Four, Caitlyn, and Marshall, and they were in a success. So, in this episode, we're gonna be doing the last two Elite Four members. So, without further ado, let's get started. Uh, one thing I do want to bring up, I, uh, I know I've been saying this for a really long time, but I actually did teach Magnus on Thunderbolt in, uh, and I replaced Electro Ball. I don't really like Electro Ball as a move, and it, I never used it, so I thought um, Thunderbolt would be way better. So we are going to do, like I said, the last two Elite Four members. Um, uh, I don't really know who I want to start off with, but I think I always use Magnezone as a sort of, we don't have a counter for this, so we'll just use him sort of Pokemon. So we're gonna go in, I'm pretty sure it's this room. Alright, this is not the room I want to go in, but we have to do both of them anyway, so it should be fine. Let me do... Yeah, Stoutland. Let's start off with him. There is one man who wanders the world with a, with a white dragon Pokemon to search for the truth. That's part of a novel I'm writing. I want to write down the event that happened on that day. Sorry, it has nothing to do with you. You're a challenger, right? I'm the Elite Four's ghost type Pokemon user, Chantal, and I shall be your opponent. The third Elite Four member, Chantal. The first Pokemon is going to be Kofagrigus. Now, um, I mainly put in Stoutland first because, of course, he has a uh, crutch. Um, something crazy I actually found out is that Stoutland can learn Thunderbolt. But I thought I should keep it. I should keep it Thunderfang since it, it's all, you know, like Ice Fang and Fire Fang. I don't know why, but why not? I at least want to take down Copper Grievous, but it seems like we should. that should be no problem at all. Intimidate, we don't really need to use because it only happens when you first enter the battle for the first time, and that's about it, so we don't have to worry about uh, Stalin's ability being mummy, mummy anymore, so that's all good. And of course, she's going with a full restore. Ooh. Yeah, because I keep lowering its defensive crunch. That is good. Alright, there we go. We'll keep Stoutland until it, until it faints, so... Next Pokemon's gonna be Golurk. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, it's a Ground Ghost type, so we're gonna use Ice Fang. See how much that does. Golurk is a pretty big Pokemon, so... Oh, that was a critical hit. I don't know how much Earthquake's gonna do. Oh. Let's heal. Still have 20 hyper potions. That is good. That's really good. So if Salon dies, I definitely don't want to throw in Magnezone. Another earthquake. Okay, we should be good. So if if she doesn't want to heal now, then she probably won't hear. Nope. Alright, sweet. Golark is gone. Salon's level 58 now. Alright, Chandelure. For this, I'll throw in Samurott since it's part fire type. This should be no issue. So this is her ace Pokemon. You can tell what their ace Pokemon is by, you know, just like gym leaders, they're one they're two levels higher. And I did not know it had energy ball. That's not good, but I think we should be fine. Oh yeah, one hit. I'm surprised that energy ball almost knocked us out. And Driflim. We'll keep Samurai in. See how much it can do. It'll probably be down after it'll be down after this hit, definitely. Unless it unless it has stockpile. Or it has acrobatics. So we will throw back in um er, nah, we'll throw a magazine so we can just uh, thunderbolt it. Just get it down and over with, you know. Shadow Ball. Nope. 
with all those tanky Pokemons, her HP just goes down so, so, so slowly, you know. And she's probably gonna heal. No, that's, that's crazy. She only used one full restore. The Elite Four members only have one full restore. That's weird. Well, it's whatever, because Driplim is gone, which means we've defeated Chantal. Do you ever feel about a loss of words when you feel greatly moves you? To tell the truth, I'm a writer, but I'm, right now I'm having trouble putting at that you just... <laughs> Alright. My Pokemon and the Challenger's Pokemon. Every Everyone battled even though they were hurt. Thank you. And now we will move on to the final Elite Four member. Let's heal first. Um... So for this last Elite Four member, it's going to be kind of hard who I want to put in first, but I think we'll do Magnezone, you know. We don't really have a counter for it, so... I mean, we we do, but it's not like... We don't have a, a Pokemon with, like, such a good move, you know? What will be determined here is which of us can absorb the opponent's light and shine. But who will decide that? I, sh it shall be I, Grimsley of the Elite Four, and I will fulfill my duty to be your opponent. The fourth and final Elite Four member, Grimsley. It's gonna always start off with his life hard. What if it was Charon's? Nah. It's not. Um, it always starts off with a fake out. Because what life hard doesn't always start off with a fake out. That's also another reason why I don't want to keep Magnezone in. I mean, it never does that much damage, but. You know, less damage the better, I mean, right? So let's see how much a Thunderbolt will do. Over half? Wow! If you figured that out, you may be able to win. So you're gonna fall restore. So, I think... It should be good. If we can get a critical hit, that'd be awesome, but probably not. But we'll have to see. No. We'll just hit him with the Flash Cannon. Another unaffected Night Slash. And Lifeheart's gone. Crocodile. Alright. Once again, we're going to send in Samurai. I was thinking of doing either him or Moongus, but I think we'll do Samurai. Got Intimidate, but Surf is a special move, so we don't have to worry about that. Got Earthquake. Oh, uh, isn't Poison weak to po Poison's weak to ground? So smart. Put Tamron in. See how much damage it does. Oh, unless he doesn't heal, then we can hit it with an Aqua Jet. Sweet. See, I knew it'd be a good idea to keep Aqua Jet. And look what happened. Crafty, dark fighting. Um, I'll send in Gliscor. So much damage this does. He probably has a rock type move. Got crunch. Not much, but defense fell. Right? Yeah. All right, Scrappy's gone. All 58 for Glide Score. Fish Sharp. Um, let's go Stoutland. So Sharp is its, um. Ace Pokemon, and its attack raises sharply from it, from just its abilities. So that's 
not good, but let's see. Oh, I avoided the fire fangs. That is not good. Let's see how much that does. Over half. All right, so one's gonna be gone this turn then. Let's see how much fire fang would do. That's not a lot, actually. Steel is its secondary type, so I mean, um, I guess we can just throw Glyscore back in then, because it's quad weak to fighting, so we can use Sky Uppercut. And Bisharp's gone. Sweet. Where's the winner? There's also a loser. It's pathetic to make a deal of losing when you weren't prepared. If you're sure you'll reflect upon your loss and think about how you'll win next time. Hey, I did it. Astonishing. You have defeated every member of the Pokemon League's Elite Four, but it isn't over yet. There's one more opponent against whom you must prove your strength. Check the statue in the central plaza and continue to the final room. Next time on Pokemon White 2, we'll be facing the champion. I'll see you then.